Oh. Oh. Okay, technology. <laughs> I just have to take a moment and laugh. Can we just laugh for a second just to release anything? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to invite everyone to take a moment and laugh with us because one of the things that um, we're laughing about is that, really, as I say, I think I say this in a lot of my um, interviews, is that God is the DJ. And, and what I mean by that, that God is the DJ, is not only does uh, God orchestrate what music um, we will hear, um, also today I was going to be interviewing Dana's mom, Melody, both who were at Rhythmia in February of 2020. I even actually, Dana, I looked up the dates. It was February 9th through the 20th, I believe. Oh, wow. um, yeah, yeah. Because that, that week was, for me too, such a transformational week because it was that week that I heard the call. As a guest teacher, I heard, this is your home. And I said, this is my home. Well, I come here once in a blue moon and I teach and then I go home. <gasps> and, I, and I kept on hearing, this is your home. And so two years later, I have manifested Rhythmia to be my home. Although I'm not, not there now. I'm at my real home in Los Angeles. Um, but going back to the God is the DJ, right? Um, for many of you that are witnessing and watching right now, you might say, hey, but Parashakti, you interviewed Dana two weeks ago. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to today interview Dana's mom, Melody. And um, thank God, thank God that <laughs> Dana chimed in because she wanted to make sure that her mom would get on the show and would understand the technology. And of course, there were a little different types of glitches, right, Dana? Yep. I'm not even in the same state, so I can only help from afar. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So um, again, I'm so grateful that you um, heard the call and decided to kind of support backstage, as we call it. And when Melody, your mom, could not um, chime in, now we again, we have you. And it, it's, it's <laughs> such a true honor because... When I tuned in in a moment, when we took, we did a meditation before we came live and I asked creator, I said, you know, what is it that Dana here again gets to share and what's the theme and how can I support that theme? And of course, of course, there is great wisdom that your heart, your spirit, getting ready to go to Rhythmia, October, what is it? 17th through the 24th, you and your mom are going to be there. And my sister. And your sister. Um, me so there's more. <laughs> me and my mom plus one. There you go. Hopefully your mom is going to make it. <laughs> yes, she will make it. She will make it. She's okay. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So, so yes. So two weeks ago, we had a little dance, a live dance around the medicine wheel of life. And already there, you, you had so much wisdom to share. And, you know, today as we continue to share and you're preparing yourself to go to Rhythmia, um, what, what is first, first and foremost, what, what is that call again that, that is calling you home to Rhythmia? Uh, well, you know, I must have really heard her call to be back on here. And I'm like, wow, this was unplanned. And I've been really feeling more and more strongly every day. And my healing has ramped up. And my I can feel a, a change in my sister and my mom and I's relationship kind of evolving before we even get there. So I know that I is pulling all three of us there this time. And to have me just kind of randomly just go oh well maybe I'll go backstage just to make sure mom gets on there and then poof I'm here I'm like oh, oh that wasn't planned <laughs> and you know I think the call is just it, it's just so strong it's so strong in my heart and it's I it was in uh, meditation just prior to this and I was like ah uh, okay listen and so I did and I hopped on and here I am. <laughs> Here you are. Here we are. Here we are again. 
<laughs> well, thank you for hearing the, the call. Thank you for um, orchestrating as God can only work through us when we show up. True. So I want to acknowledge right now also all those who have heard the call to, to show up. Because even though this is a very short and sweet Friday powwow that I get to have with guest teachers and alumni and uh, Rhythmia staff, there's always, always a golden nugget to be able to go back into your day with. And you, my dear, carry a lot of those golden nuggets. So what is a golden nugget right now that in, in again, in your heart, you feel called to share as you prepare to go to Rhythmia? You know, if people are hearing the call, if they're even thinking about going and doing a journey at Rhythmia, even if that thought comes into your head, that is the call. That is the call. So you don't have to doubt yourself. You don't have to doubt that thought. That is the call. That is Aya going, here's a little nudge for you. She just put the thought in your head or even you're on this. You're on this call. That's a nudge. So I think just listen to your heart and listen to that call because she's very good at, at finding a way to get in your heart and, and speak to you in, in a way you'll understand, you know, and I think that that goes, that's like a mother to a daughter, right? We have to be patient with each other and then we hear each other's call and we go to each other. And that's what Mother Aya is for us. We're all her children. Mm. Wow. You know, it's it's so powerful that, again, I was uh, scheduled to interview your mom. And again, for all those who are joining right now, Dana and her mom, Melody, and her sister are going to be at Rhythmia October 17th through the 24th. And this is after a two-year, right? It was two years ago that you and your mom were there. And um, what, what touches me too is that I, um, I just said goodbye to my mom who lives in Israel and she was with me for about a month and a half. And um, there were so many times, as you just said, that I listened to the call uh, of the great mother to be in great support to my mom, just like happened right now <laughs> that you got to be, you heard the call. It was Aya calling you. You got on the, the live in order to support your mom. And because your mom couldn't be with us, here you are. And so again, that, that relationship to hearing the call, it's a soul call. And whether you hear the call and you book your ticket to come to, to, your flight to Rhythmia, or you just start to make certain steps to showing up for the call. And then everything starts to unfold. And that is the dance of the great mystery, is that unfolding. Actually, yeah. yeah, I heard the call for ayahuasca in probably about five years ago, before Rhythmia even existed, I heard the call. And then I was like, no, I'm just kind of too scared. I don't want to go into the jungle. I let I let my fears get in the way there because I'm like, you know, uh, I'm in a wheelchair in the middle of the jungle. How's that going to work? So I was like, had friends that went after a Tony Robbins event, Michelle Soros. I was one of one of the people that she got me to go and she's like, it's like a five star resort. They have farm to table food. I'm like, mm -hmm. and because I mean, I'd heard the call like five years prior. I mean, before Rhythmia existed, I heard Aya's call, but I was too afraid. And then a place that you can go to and be 100% safe. I was like, yes, please, I'm in. And, you know, I, I, there was an EMT that was by my side if need be. You know, it's just this beautiful thing of safety. And that's what I needed to know. I knew I, I, I needed to know that I was going to be safe in this journey. And there's no safer place to go through the ayahuasca journey than Rhythmia. Because there's so much support and so much love at the facility. And, of course, it is a beautiful five-star resort, you know. Can't complain. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I heard that. And, and then my mom had been going through so much turmoil. She was 
taking care of a gentleman named Gary for a long, long time as he was going through his journey of uh, dementia. And then horses that she was taking care of, she had to put down two horses and Gary passed. And then my grandma passed and she was like, I need something. I'm like, well, mom, why don't you go to with me with me? Let's go on this journey together. And she was like, okay. I'm like, that's how, that's how hard it was to convince my mom. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you know, she's just a really adventurous soul. And it was so good for her to go through that journey because my grandma had passed. And so she got some time with my grandma while at Rhythmia. And so there was like, it was a generational healing for me, my mom and my grandma, and then my sister now wants to go. So it's just, it's just this, like this circle of life of mothers and daughters. And just, it's just such a blessing. Wow. I loved how you said it's, it's the circle of life. And within that, that circle of life, so much healing can happen, not only from, you know, the past, but also for future generations. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, so powerful. So you are today representing your mom again. Uh, Melody's yeah. mom, um, Dana's mom, Melody was supposed to be joining us and she, she couldn't quite, uh, because of the technology, uh, get on. And so what, what do you wish this time is, um, you're going with, with your mom again, and then your sister who's never been to Rhythmia. Um, what, what do you wish for the both of them? You know, I wish that as, especially, you know, my sister, that she finds the love for herself, that mm. there is enough love and it's with inside her and my mom for her to just go deeper into her journey and that she gets her miracle, whatever miracle she decides she wants. You know, of course, I want them to get their miracles of what they want and their wishes and just the love to encompass all three of us and, and know that we are on an eternal journey together. It's not our first time around together. This is just part of the next step of the next journey. And this life is a journey. The healing process is a journey. It's not a destination. I can tell you from being paralyzed from the neck down to even today, my balance from yesterday to today just clicked. Something just changed. And that's a gift and a journey. And so I, I've always saw walking as the destination of, of my own journey or, you know, and, and it's not. That's just a piece of it. Because there's always something else after that. Once you reach that goal, once I reach the goal of walking, or once my mom gets her miracle, what do you do with that miracle? Mm -hmm. And once my sister feels the love inside, what do we do with those miracles? What are you going to do? What's next? Mm. So it's taking that next step and then not letting fear hold us back. Don't let your own self get in your way. And one of the things that ayahuasca helps us is to see those blocks that we have and what we need to work on in order to take that next step into the journey of our own life. Mm. And as we elevate ourselves, clearly we elevate those around us. Because when my mom and I went, my sister saw that and was like, ooh, that's some serious love and energy right there. I want some of that. And now we get to share that with her. Oh, incredible. Well, for all those that um, tuned in, if you are inspired, then just um, call, call and find out about Rhythmia. And for those who have been to Rhythmia, come back. <laughs> And I, again, am celebrating you from my um, own abode and sanctuary in the City of Angels and praying for the three of you for just the most miraculous week together. And just know that, I, that I'm here for you as we see, we, could, we just keep on connecting. So yeah. it's such a great honor, Dana, to have you and your voice and your heart and your spirit soar here today um by we say in hebrew by fuchs which means by chance <laughs> um and if anybody wants to know deeper um of dana's story um what's the name of your book falling up my wild ride from victim to kick-ass victory 
it uh, will be available on Amazon soon. It uh, is being revamped a little bit and put back up on Amazon. So beautiful. So beautiful. Well, I already know that you, all three of you got your miracle. So I'm just going to be dancing that miracle from afar. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you everybody for joining and so much appreciate this, this time that I get to have every Friday with such powerful movers and shakers. So thank you. Thank you.